Welcome to how to use the start event shape. The start event shape indicates the start of a process. There are many variations of this shape. However, today we're going to be looking at the one that's referred to as none. The start event known as none is the simplest form. You can use it when you know the start type and it doesn't fit the other categories or when your start event is unknown or if your start event doesn't matter. The start event does not need to be a green circle. It could also be a white circle. The color doesn't matter. However, what you will notice is that the circle has a thin border. This becomes important as there are other events, such as an end event that have a thicker border or an intermediate event that has a hollow border. For example today, we're going to look at three ways to use the start event none. Typically a task will follow a start event. Let's take a look at our example. All of our start events have a task after called do x task. As this isn't relevant for today, we're not going to focus on that. Looking at our start event starting at the top, our first start event isn't labeled. This could mean that we do not know the trigger for our start event, or perhaps it's not relevant to our process. Looking at our example second from the top, we can see this start event is labeled new request. New request here indicates that we know what our start event trigger was. However, there are other ones as we'll take a look at later, such as delays or timers that could be date or time specific, as well as messages which could be dependent upon receiving a communication. Depending on how specific you want to be, you might also want to use those variations. In our third example, right at the bottom, it simply is labeled start event. In a nutshell, that's how you use a start event. It indicates where the start of your process is. While any of these approaches could be used, what you will notice is that we didn't describe our start event using an action word. And we're done. That concludes this session. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much.